Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. So my name is Hamted and I'm going to be helping you to solve uh, questions from your tutorial sheet. Yeah, so this is question one from tutorial sheet one and it says simplify the following expressions fully. Simplify the following expressions fully. Yeah, so um, by the way, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, click the notification button here so that whatever I'll be posting on the channel, you'll be able to see them. Uh, you, you'll be able to be notified whenever I post any solution for your tutorial sheet uh, for physics and uh, mathematics. So I'll, I'll always be helping you to solve tutorial sheet questions from physics and mathematics. All right, so let's quickly begin. So we have this question here. So I'll begin first by giving you some uh, rules of indices. So I'll begin first by giving you some rules of uh, indices. So when you have, for instance, before we even look at the questions here, when you have, for instance, a to the power n, then raised to, uh, to the power m like that, this one is simply just the same as multiplying the powers m times n, there you get m n. And then the other thing that you need to understand is that um, when you have a to the power m, you, you are multiplying this times a to the power n. This one is just the same as adding the powers m plus n. Then when you are dividing uh, numbers or indices with the same base, um, and you have m and then a to the power n, this, in, in this case, what you just need to do is to subtract. You write the base there, then you subtract the powers, m minus n. So this is what you are going to have. So you can also be given something like the square root of a. The square root of a is simply just the same as uh, a to the power 1 over 2. That is the square root of a. So the square root of a is just the same as a to the power 1 over 2. So this 2 is coming from square, square, it, it, it's coming from square, so meaning it has a 2 here which we don't just write. So same applies when you have the cube root of a. The cube root of a is simply just a to the power 1 over 3. Yeah. So when you have the fifth root of a, this one is just the same as a to the power 1 over 5. Sorry, I've written 2 instead of 5. 1 over 5. All right, so it's just as simple as this. Um, what if you have something like this? You have maybe um, the square root of a and then raised to the power 2. So this one is just the same as, what is inside there is just the same as 1, I mean a to the power 1 over 2. And then remember outside there we have a squared. So we multiply 2 times half there, we get a to the power 2 over 2 which is just the same as a to the power 1, which gives us a. And then if you have maybe the cube root of uh, a to the power maybe 5, so this is just the same as a raised to the power 1 over 3, then in brackets raised to power 5. So this when simplified is just the same as 5 to the power 3, 5, uh, sorry, a to the power 5 over 3. Yeah, so that's what we get. So let us now quickly look at what you've been given here as uh, a tutorial sheet question. So the first one is x raised to power 6, then multiplied by, I mean raised to the power 1 over 3. So this one is just the same as 6 times 1 over 3 there will get x to the power 6 over 3. So 6 over 3 is just, um, 6 over 3 is just the same as 2. Yeah, so this is just x raised to power 2. We've simplified it. All right, we move on to the next question. So this one is simple. This is how it ends. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, so the next question is root 2 x to the power 3 divided by that. So remember what I said, um, rather remember the rules of division. If you are dividing two numbers, let's say half, divide them by uh, 3 over 2. What you do is simply you just uh, change the sign there and after changing the sign you make sure that you switch these numbers 
on this um, on this part. So meaning the three will become the denominator and then the two become the numerator. So you have something like this. Then when you multiply, you're going to get two over six, which simplifies to one over three. So I, I'm just interested in this part where we switch everything there. So, oh, sorry for that. So this is exactly what we're going to do to this question as well. Okay. So we're going to say the... Okay, first, before we even switch them, or before we even introduce that principle, let's first simplify this part. So we have the root of 2, and then we have x to the power 3 in brackets. Then this is being divided by... So this one can also be written as the square root of 32 over the square root of x squared. So the square root of 32, we don't know that, but, but we can simplify it. Yeah, so the square root of 32, the square root of 32, or before we start simplifying that, let me do this first. Um, the, 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 let, me, let, let me first uh, switch this. Yeah, let me switch this first. Okay, let me just erase that. So we switch this and then we change the sign there. So meaning we're going to have something like the root of 2 and then we have x to the power 3 there then times the square root of x the square root of yeah the square root of x squared this one we said is just the same as x squared to the power 1 over 2 when we multiply that we we'll get x to the power 2 over 2 which gives us x to the power 1 which is just x so this part can also just be written as x. So we're switching the numbers. Yeah. So instead of writing x, uh, the root of x squared, I'll just write x, then over the square root of z2. So the square root of z2. So when we multiply this, we're going to get x times x to the power 3. This is going to give us uh, the root of 2 and then times x to the power 4. This is what I'm going to get. And then divided by, let us now also simplify the square root of set 2. So on top there we have the root of 2, then we have x raised to the power 4, then everything divided by. So the root of set 2 can also be written as the square root of 16 times 2. So the square root of 16 times 2 can also be written as the square root of 16 times the square root of 2. So the square root of 16, we all know that it's 4, and then times the square root of 2. So we can write 4 root 2 where there is uh, the root of set 2. So we can write 4 root 2. So you can see that this root 2 and that root 2 cancel. So we just remain with um, uh, simply just x to the power 4 over 4. So this is the solution for this uh equation there all right so all right so um this is how we're going to be doing this i'm going to be solving all your questions from your physics tutorial sheet and your mathematics tutorial sheet all you just need is to subscribe to the channel so that every time i post a new video you are going to be notified that there's a new video that has been posted on my channel so thank you very much for watching today's tutorial See you in the next tutorial video. Shalom, shalom.